Skipping ahead, Elon Musk wins battle with Alameda County. Tesla factory allowed to reopen. From Forbes.com. Elon Musk's battle with Alameda County has come to an end. Local officials agreed Tuesday night to allow Tesla's Fremont factory to reopen under new safety guidelines. A win for the billionaire who has become a symbol in the larger debate about reopening businesses among the coronavirus pandemic. I am so, I, I would have been, I would have been sorely disappointed in my, but I don't want to, I don't want to call him a hero. I think he's a hero for humanity though. If there is one. Elon Musk. Yeah, I, I would have been sorely disappointed if, if this great man did not stand on the side of the civil disobedient and say, yeah, this, this is, this is bullshit one way or another. So key facts in this story, the Alameda County Health Department said in a statement that Tesla's plant can prepare to reopen this week and resume operations as soon as next week. County officials will only allow Tesla to open if it follows state and local guidelines for for reopening manufacturing facilities, which include closing break break rooms and using barriers, among other measures. Now, really what this comes down, this isn't the total victory. And, And a lot of us, when we in, in civil disobedience, I know this from my own experience, even with drug cases, where the, you know, is it going to be a victory or a loss? Like it's usually a negotiated something in between, and you know, it's a good compromise if nobody's happy. But in, in this case, w- what did Musk win for Tesla? He he won getting it put in the essential category. That's all. And like I said in the earlier segment about how we went from, oh, 2 million deaths. Oh, no, maybe uh, 100,000 less ish, whatever. Um, the way and, and, and then, well, hospitals are going to get over. We have, it's not it's not the deaths. It's the patients who have to be put on respirators. If we don't. All right. We don't flatten the curve. All right. Fine. We'll, we'll help you flatten the curve. All right. Now the curve is flattened. But we can't unflat. We can't uh, reopen because. The curve might unflatten. Right. <laughs> okay, might have, might have a spike. Well, guess what? We, we, you essential businesses have been open this whole time. They have developed ways to have you know, near certainty and safety and hygiene practices. Why? Why can't I do that? That that's going to be the next argument. You know, the, the, the incremental recovery here. I don't think they're going to be able to really keep this up. Eventually, everybody is going to be able to say, "Hey." I want to go back to work. There's no fucking way you can stop me from doing it in a bubble. I can I can serve food from you know wearing a bubble mask. Like get get, get out of my way, government. Really, why? So I'm I'm encouraged, but you know as as usual, uh, you know, de-escalating the drama of the situation often leads to a better understanding of saying yes. There's going to be okay. First, Elon Musk leads the way. I don't know what Hooters restaurant is going to be next. They're going to have, so I don't know, Hooter, Hooters in, they're going to have to redesign the Hooters outfit to be like some kind of bubble suit. And they're going to, they're going to fight to reopen their restaurants, restaurants. Right. Um, I don't know. Like, so there, there's going to be this process. So the Fremont police department will verify whether the factory is following safety guidelines and maintain appropriate distancing between workers. So, like the next step in this, and 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 I hope where we go from this and, and and applying the lessons from this is that like we shouldn't allow the government to be making these decisions for us at all. Like th- th- we can do a better job ourselves. Like there is going to be there's th- th- there's going to be a flood of statistics, a flood of data. Maybe not over the next, but a, <clears throat> a couple months from now, over the next few months. Look, I, and I'm gonna I'll make some predictions that by November there is going to be broad consensus that the cure is worse than the disease. It's better for for the Libertarian Party to nominate someone who's going to obviously represent that, right? Who's, who's been right from the beginning, a month ahead of Ron Paul even, and calling this thing a hoax. But yeah, that if we can really learn the lessons from this, it, government should not be allowed to make these decisions at all. Tesla had already made a show of defying local orders by starting production on Monday while threatening to move the factory out of California. But it's unclear if Musk will face any consequences for openly flouting the law. His crusade drew support from the White House, including Trump and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, but was heavily criticized for what some saw as a reckless action that put his workers at risk. The dust-up split California officials assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez tweeted, 
Fuck Elon Musk. And we covered this story the other day where she censored the U out of the word fuck. So it's a good thing that none of the children reading her tweets would misunderstand her and think she was saying anything other than fact Elon Musk, because that that makes way more sense. During the feud, while California Governor Gassim, Gavin, Newsom, Gassim, uh, Gavin Newsom appeared to be more diplomatic and indicated he wanted the two sides to come to an agreement. I, you know, for those of us on, you know, the, the reasonable side of the conversation here, so to speak. It's very clear that this is the right thing for Elon to do. And it, it's tempting to not even appreciate how difficult this is for him. Most of his workers are not a part of this conversation. Most of his workers, most of the employees who would be going back to work at this factory don't have the luxury that you and I do of spending at least an hour together five days a week discussing the news to question it. They have a very limited amount of time to get information, to be able to assimilate, to form a worldview that allows them to function. And right now, that has been grossly distorted by the mainstream media and the fear mongering around the virus. And what Elon Musk is doing is not just saying, all right, look, we can go back to work, but he is overcoming and, and facing that fear from so many of his employees. And, and for that, I, I have to give him an extra round of applause. 